What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters, man. Let's get right off into this, man. So, Surf go to Twitter, man, and Surf released on Twitter. Surf say, I'm trying to see which Lux people is so hyped about. That's about to beat me. Which Lux y'all so hype about that's about to beat me? Which one y'all saw? Which luck did you see that got y'all so scared for me? Like, what if every, what is everybody saying? I'm going to get smoked. I'm going to get killed for What if y'all saw in Lux in his previous battles before finna battle me that y'all saw that got y'all so scared for me? Was it the Lux versus Calico? Was it the Lux versus Ars? Was it the Lux versus Ver? Was it the Lux versus Hollow? Which one of those battles he ever went into against those people that y'all think he just going to smoke me on? Okay, I understand, sir, if I hear you. Well, let's talk about it. The surf versus Calico. I mean, the Calico versus Lux. When he was the pastor. Could you handle that Lux surf? I don't think you could. In fact, I think that's going to be a replay to some degree of how you about to battle him. Mind you, I believe Calico would do a better job than you because a lot of the things Calico was hitting on and some of his angles in there was definitely fire and gripped you perfectly against Lux. You, however, you believe in you finna beat Lux on three rounds of gun bars. That's actually what you believe. Because you have nothing else to bring to the table besides that. When you try to talk this street stuff to him and try to break him down, that's not going to work. You're not going to be able to do that. So you're going for three rounds of gun bars. And this is why he was asking for the gray hoodie Lux. Because he know that's all he got to bring to the table. All Surf is going to do is talk three rounds of gun bars. That's what his performance is. That's even what it put. Ain't the low. I the low. I got the cannon down here. Two guns. Double barrel. Pistols around here. That's his performance. It's all gun. Hey, Ain't low. Come in. Come in the crowd. Mama over there. What now? Shotgun. 12 gauge blast. That's how, that's how he, he rap. That's his performance. All gun jafters. So he believe in he's going to beat Lux off three rounds of gun bars. This is why this battle ain't getting as much attention and hype like he thought it was. Because this is Lux's easiest competition he had so far. You're not better than Verb. You're not better than Arsenal. You're not better than Clips. You're not better than Hollow. So you're like basically his weakest competition. And you're coming with three rounds of guns. That's all you're doing. At least everybody else that went up against him had different angles, had different things to throw at him. You, he knew exactly how you're coming. You're going to be so predictable in this battle, it ain't even funny. That's, again, why he was asking for the Grey Hoodie Lux. Because the Grey Hoodie Lux is more simplistic. He's a street dude that talk about guns just like him. So he figured if he come to play by his rules, his way, that gives him some leverage or, or, or advantage or at least make it close and debatable if he transformed to Grey Hoodie Lux. So now we got two street dudes talking gun bars. Nope. That's why you don't deserve. That's why if I'm Lux, I don't give you what you want. I'm battling you. Why would I give you what you want to make this some type of equal to you so that you could just brag about how close you was? Or if it's debatable, you could just literally say you won. No, I'm going to smoke you, get you out the way, put you out your misery. You unworthy of gray hoodie Lux. You don't need them. You don't deserve them. I'm, look, here's the thing. If Lux beat Surf, guess what? So, and, so what? He's supposed to beat Surf. But if Surf beat Lux, guess what? 
more marketing, promoting for serve all on I uh 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 Ebo them and all them other people, Funk Flex them. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Lux the greatest battle rapper in the world. I be Lux, I be hollow, I be all the greatest that ever people thought was the best. That's all he gonna do. You got to put that horse down and put him out his misery. You can't give brothers like Sir a chance to brag and market and promote your name uh, with him, cause he gonna make he gonna grind you to the dirt and use people like Lux. He going to grind to the dirt and drain every bit of anything Lux had to offer out of him and uh, out of him and direct it towards himself to capitalize off of. Her. So Lux can't play with Surf. He got the smoke, dude. But Ken Surf stand in front of the Lux that went up against Calico. Kenny, the lost nigga Lux, could Surf match that intensity? No, he can't. Especially if Lux get to breaking down his track record and lifestyle or how he continue to go to prison all the time. I mean, uh, catching cases all the time. How you in the gangs and you got shot and then you still trying to gang bang. How you so off off the wall on, on, on struggling between doing right and being a father and a parent, but trying to gang bang at the same time. No, you could, right. If I'm a certain fan, I'm definitely scared of that. Man, I hope Lux don't come with the path to He smoked. He dead. If Lux do path the lost nigga to surf, you worse than Calico, surf. At least Calico's lost nigga was directed towards his father. You being a lost nigga would be directed solely towards you and you alone. So he will smoke you. He will tear you apart with that. With that alone, and you on record talking about your mother got a girlfriend too, he will smoke you with that. Taking all your history, all your past, and proving how you a lost nigga, he will smoke you with that. So yeah, your fans should be worried about stuff like that, brother. How would you fare up against the Verb Lux? Could you handle the Verb Lux that went up against Verb? I don't think so. You're not lyrical enough. Your lyrical pen game ability would not equal up to what he does lyrical wise when it come to that. So, yeah, your fans definitely have something to worry about on that. Because for the most part, your bars are simplistic, man. I know how how almost every round of yours going to go. Because if anybody been watching you, you do the same thing. You always take one you lazy right to me to some degree. You take one thing and do it all. And do it all the way through. Like, I'm telling you, you got a history of doing this. When you just went up against Rum Nitty. He did a whole thing of all the dogs. Shih Tzu, Bull Master, Pitbull, Great Dane, Dominant Pigeon. Did a whole nother thing of the whole X-Men and them. I think when I'm in that wheelchair, ball head, you hang on my hand, don't move. They shot me. I went in the lawn, ate the green, healed my body, Wolverine. When that Jean Grey look. Do that whole thing. You went up against Rock. Same thing. Gibson, Pippin. Y'all ain't even see I put Rodman in. Jordan, Derrick Rose. Y'all see. Whole bull skin. Then he went up against. Who, who else he went up against? He did the whole. Uh, uh, I shoot from Durant range, Steph Curry, James Harden. When I did it, you do a whole one. In you you always do these. You do a NBA whole scheme. You do kill him cold, rock away. You don't gotta know what's in my jeans. I'ma clap it. The gap up in the attic. You do a whole thing on jeans. See, that's how it's simplistic. It's very simplistic. So lyrical wise, you can't match up. To the thing dudes be saying. The thing Lux be saying. Man, you know what I'm saying? The, man, come on, man. What did Lux say to Hollow that one time? He said something. He said something. We both this and our name soaring. He said our name soaring. Uh, he said our name soaring. Something, but our name soaring. Soaring. That means you got bars too. But just don't know the hang of it. Man, it, it, it was crazy how he did that. And he was like, uh, all that why you on, on the static on it. What'd he say? All that why you on the, on the antenna. 
something. Mm, why it always take a black box, a black mother banging on a box for you niggas to get the picture? Man, come on, man. Lyrical wise, no, sir, you're not going to match up lyrical wise. You also under the impression, like, um, so you wouldn't match up with the uh, verb lux neither. The lyrical wise, you just ain't that that deep enough to go against that dude mental like that. So you're going to lose that. And that's another reason, again, why you bagging for the gray hoodie lux. You don't want him on those levels. You definitely don't stand a chance with him on those levels. Then the hollow verb, the hollow lux. Crazy. You definitely don't want the hollow lux. The hollow lux was out of this world. The hollow lux, man, crazy. He got it the worst. I'm going to keep it real. Hollow got it worse than anybody. You definitely don't want that lux. Well, he just radar target in on you. And the way he broke down hollow whole lifestyle, you don't want that. With the clip, <coughs> with the clips lux too, you don't want that lux neither. When he broke down Clip's life and hit pops and brought out the paperwork, you really want Lux looking into all those gun cases you were caught with that actually uh, you kept coming back from and he actually bring out paperwork on you and all these allegations and paint that picture. Even if it's not true, he could paint it so believable to make you look like you some type of rat and just get to showing how the New York crime is and how mandatory sentencing is and how you getting caught up in a man. Come on, man. You can you. This is why this battle ain't getting that much promotion and big like that. This is why, because of reasons like this, fam. And you definitely going to feel it, man. Now, I'm not saying you're not gonna be good. I'm expecting for you to be good. It's gonna be one of those battles that you're going to be good. You're just gonna get your ass kicked. Now, anything possible, you can win. But if you're looking at the numbers, statistically wise. You don't suppose to win at all. Anything is possible, though. And then the thing about you too that a lot of that that all these battles got in common, from the calico battle to the to the hollow battle. Yeah, remember that round was unlimited. The last round of that battle that was unlimited. Surf, you can't rap an unlimited round. You can barely get past three rounds. How much more unlimited round? And not only that. The difference between Lux and all these people he going up against, you mentioned, Surf, Lux was consistent with three full rounds, something you're not used to giving and doing, period. So how much more unlimited rounds? I think that's that, that really says a lot. It really says a lot. And I think, bro, you just, you toot your horn too much. And I think he just going to bring you to reality, man. I think... This battle going to be bad for you. It's going to be okay because you is. You're going to show up. You're going to do good. Your angle just ain't going to help you, brother. And, and, and rapping gun, 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 three rounds straight, you're going to get smoked, man. I'm sorry to tell you. You're just going to get smoked. And I don't see how you actually survive this, man. That being said, man, it's your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box, man. Yeah, sir. So your fans shooting at you, telling you they concerned about you for a reason. Because you have nothing to really offer when it comes to going up against Lux, but just some gun bar. You're not going to outperform him neither. Because Lux always perform. The way he write his rounds, he have a performance to his rounds. So that's not going to give you the leverage neither. So I don't know what you think going to give you the leverage. You're not going to be the favorite in the room. You're not more lyrical than him. You're not going to outperform him. You ain't going to have your stuff down together more than him. I don't see what gives you the leverage at all in this battle. Period. I don't. I'm just keeping it real. And again, this is why this battle ain't getting that much attention because, no, it just ain't. It's just not. It's your boy Battle Truth, and I ain't my judge when that's some question. It's yours. Real under here certified gear is available to everybody that's real. If you're not real, you can't purchase this gear. Also, man, join my Patreon. I just dropped like seven new videos on that fire. I'm finna do like five more, probably tomorrow. I'm gonna do like five more new ones tomorrow. Also, um, Real under here certified gear available to everybody that's real. Contact me at 414-235-6760. Shouts out to my sponsor, Strict Dad Foundation. 
join the Facebook uh, Facebook to it by clicking the link in the description box. Follow, like the page and channel. Also, the uh, Instagram do the same thing for that. Link is in the description box. The GoFundMe is also available to everybody that want to donate to help be a part of changing and saving somebody's life. Do that also. And with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Sir, you definitely got a lot to be concerned about. And it's your boy Battle Truth.